As the chair of the bipartisan Nigerian caucus in the United States Congress. I am its chair. We were the first to go in to Nigeria when the Chiku girls were taken. The first Americans, that is the Congressional Nigerian Caucus. Three members of Congress went, myself, Congressman Chabot, and Congresswoman Frederica Wilson. We were the only and the first. We spoke to the parents. We went to the North, and we asked the government to stand up against Boko Haram, to help those in the North, to bring justice to them. So I am a friend of Nigeria, but being a friend does not diminish the right to tell the truth. So I come here today as a truth teller to be able to say that Nigeria, now the largest nation on the continent, uh, the country with the population and the intellect and the resources to be a powerhouse, not only on the continent of Africa, but around the world. In order to do that, I cannot suffer through a nation that will kill its young and its children, its petitioners who are petitioning the government peacefully. I can hear the shots of the military shooting the people in the street. I cannot suffer that. And it is important that you petition your government, this government, to be able to stand up. And so, we have now asked the Secretary of State, Pompeo, to stand in opposition right now to the actions going on in Nigeria. Secondarily, we've asked the chair and the the chair of the National Security Council of the United Nations and as well the general secretary that they must address the president of Nigeria, Mr. Bahari, on the violence, and SARS must end, and SWAT. I want a law-abiding country. I believe that law and order is important, as it is here. And many of you know that we've suffered some tragic losses in the last days. But what we need from Nigeria is to set up a police force that acts in dignity and base its facts or its service on public safety. We must pay them. We must provide for their families in Nigeria. We must give them a decent income. We must recruit those who have come to do good. We must not force them to do evil or to do bad. And we cannot take out groups like the LGBTQ community and target them and target them Straight and bullets. target young and target people who are simply trying to end police brutality. Yes, LGBT community. I am in exile. I am not an immigrant. My, my mother died. I couldn't go home. I could not go home. We, we hear her pain. We hear her pain. We hear your pain, my sister. We hear your pain, my sister. We, we, are, we hear the pain. We are hearing the pain. And that's why we're here. I do not reject your pain. But we must act on that pain. We want no group to be denigrated. And let me say it so she can hear me. LGBTQ rights are human rights. The rights of those of you who stand here today, you were socially distanced, are human rights. The rights of elders are human rights. The rights of the Chikyu girls are human rights. The rights of women are human rights. The rights of different tribal associations and affiliations are human rights. And so on behalf of this community, I wanted them to come to a place that is their place. It is the federal government symbol for the United States of America, the United States Mickey Leland Federal Building and I wear the colors of our red, white, and blue because that flag is to stand around the world for what is right, what is humane, what is decent, what is orderly, what is democracy, 
what is just, what is equality. That's right. And we will continue to press the present government of the United States to take a uh, very important step in asking and demanding uh, that Nigeria recognize that the world is watching, the United States Congress is watching, and this violence, senseless violence by people who are wearing the uniform in Nigeria must stop. Yes. It must stop. Yes. The bloodshed cannot continue. Yes. And so I look directly and say, the leadership of the Nigerian government, if you hear my voice, we are demanding an immediate cease and desist yes. of the murder in the street of innocent persons. Yes. We will work with you. We will work to find a solution. You have a diaspora around the world of loving Nigerians yes. who want to help and want to be able to have a country that can stand up to any country around the world because it is a democratic country. Yes. It is a free country. Yes. It is a just country. Yes. It is a country that believes in equality yes. and democracy. Yes. So I thank you so very much for coming to your place, you, your symbol of this nation, mm. a free nation, and we in this country, yes. we fight for justice as well. That's the news for the week. But before we go, we'd love to say a very big thank you to some of our supporting members. Arinze Agulolu, Favor Olamide, Ada Dollars View, GKH Foundation, Cheesy One DK, Eve Dow TV, Anointed Lady TV, and others too numerous to mention. Please, if this is your first time, of seeing our videos, do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at TGM TV. Click on the notification bell so you receive videos from us as soon as they drop. Also, follow us on all our social media platforms. Also on our website www.djmtv.news where we drop news 24 hours every day. I am Lawuru Fable. Thanks for watching. DJ and TV.